Right then, let's go back under the tree. Let's see what else we've got in there. We've got uh, in from Charlie Beasley, our own uh, Judge of United columnist. This is what he's got to say. Everyone, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all. My proposal for K League Mus is an increase in fan engagement from clubs to do with some minor club decisions. Recently, we've seen quite a few changes to badges in the Japanese league, most notably being FC Tokyo's controversial badge change. And previously, even in England, we've seen a couple of examples of this. In 2012, Cardiff City's owners decided to change their home kit from blue to red, as red was a symbol of good fortune in their country. However, as Cardiff are quite well known for playing in blue, and they possess the nickname the Bluebirds, but fans made their voice well known, and the owners in the end resorted back to the blue home strip. Another example is Leeds United. In 2018, Leeds United proposed a brand new badge change themselves, but once again, fans were very quick to have their say and get their input in, and the board ended up going with the original badge. Now, over in Korea, we have Ulsan Hyundai changing to Ulsan HD. Before other K-League clubs follow suit and rebrand, should the clubs consult their fans or fan boards before making such a cultural change? In my opinion, I think they should consult the fans. Fans play such a huge part in the football club. They are the life and soul of every team, and I think the fans should definitely have more of a say in what goes on with the image of their club that they support and have grown up loving for many, many generations. But what do you guys think? Thank you, Charlie, for that. That's a very good opinion. Uh, what do we, you know, what do we think about fans uh, having more involvement? Because, yeah, it, it, it's, it's touched on it there. We haven't didn't actually get a chance to touch on it last week because it broke after we had basically finish recording the podcast but Ulsan Hyundai have rebranded themselves as Ulsan HD FC uh, obviously to get a bit of a clearer picture of things for next season they hope um but yeah and they've they've brought out what I think is a, a soulless badge to go with it um well the badge yeah is still we're... buffering and the badge is still buffering. Andrew, uh, Paul went first on the last one, uh, so I'll let you uh, have a go at this. What do you what do you think there of Charlie's thoughts? Yeah, Charlie made some great thoughts. I was wondering where this where his video was going to go, and I like the I like his point. Just like if you're going to make cultural changes, I agree with him. I got to say, I agree with him. If you're going to if you're going to change the identity of a club, and that's the badge, the colours, um, anything to do with the naming, then I would have thought that fans absolutely have to be uh, engaged in this. It was the point well made, and I like the fact that he just has his examples from the UK, Wales, and England, and um, add to the old sound one. What, what I will say with the old sound one, which is not slightly related to the thing, but I think their new, cre- I think the crest is cool. I like oh, yeah. the tiger. I like the tiger. I like the tiger. I think the whole naming thing is absolute garbage. The way it changes from old sound HD to HD old sound, and some of it's in English, but it's good, and some of it's green. And I don't like going onto the K League app now and kind of flicking through some of the results earlier on. I was trying to figure out what this crest was. What have I missed? It actually turns out to be the brand new. Old sign crest. But yes, I uh, fully agree with the Charlie that if you are going to change the identity of the club, you should do so by asking the fans. Things like that. If, if these, these are monumental changes as well. Fans should always be engaged, should always be, their opinion should be sought after for this. Oh, yeah, because Paul, with Dejan, they've gone under a bit of rebranding in recent years, uh, obviously with the, the Hanna Bank takeover and things. And um, obviously, as well with the colour changes, which has upset a few fans because if you've joined the K-League recently, you think they're on a, a team that plays in green to some extent. Yeah, and I, I'm, I brought that down as I was listening to um, him speak there, but yeah, I think you can't just, and I understand with Dejon it's a bit different because, you know, Hannah have to get their branding in there, right? You know, I, I understand there's a bit of give and take. You can't just accept all the investment and, um, you know, transforming the club on and off the pitch without something, without the branding being there. I still don't like the mouthwash green kits, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, what does leave a, a bit of taste is when they just sort of do things without really consulting the fans. And it's, yeah, I 100% agree. I would love to know if there are any Ulsan fans listening or watching this, what they think of that new badge and the name. Like, like Andrew said, the badge isn't so bad, but the name is, is shocking. 
absolutely yeah. shocking. I can't imagine any fans would, would have been if they had a, if they had a choice of four, five. That wouldn't have even been in the in the top two. What nah. what, what they had there, <laughs> scandalous. But yeah, I think um, you know things like that when you change the identity or the culture of a club, definitely. What would you say when it comes to managerial appointments? You know, like when they, when they, when Sue and Bluings appointed Kim Byung Soo, it was obvious that wasn't really going to be a good choice. That sometimes these people higher up in the in the club at boardroom level, these suits, they don't really understand football, let alone the club that they're supposed to be a custodian of. You know, if they were, I'm not saying they should take only what the fans say and only take that on board, but they. But they should at least listen to what what they say before they make major decisions. I don't know. I agree with what was said. Um, when things like that happen, they should also when it's when it's a big club like Sue and Bluings, and they make sort of decisions that could change the the path that the club takes, which is what happened really this year. Then maybe they should have a little listen to what what the fans think. Can yeah, start well, as well? What what what, we said, what about the, the rumored move of Suwon FC? Would you think fans should be consulted if they're moving stadium? I mean, I, yeah, I can't imagine anybody being that upset. It it would be if Suwon Blue Wings went to the Civic Stadium, then there might be a bit a bit of okay, lads, sorry, but this is going to happen. But with when it's like you're moving into a better place, you might. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's it's always difficult. Uh, there's a difference between making decisions and consulting. Uh, I think a consult- consultation should always happen. I, I don't know whether the fans get, you know, should have the say on the decision, uh, but they obviously should be consulted and have their views at least heard. Um, I mean, there's also, and again, I have to try and give this some balance because this is what we're trying to do here, even though I think it's a very unanimous opinion that Charlie's going to get his present, is going to get his wish here. But I just want to point to an example where it's gone slightly wrong. And uh, that's Anne Sangrinus <laughs> because their name was decided on a fan vote. And yeah, uh, that was awful. Well, yeah, there, there's a reason why they've got wolves in their badge. And one of the options was the Anne Sang wolves. And they thought very much that fans might go for this wolves option, did all the, the logo work and thought, well, we'll let the fans name it. Put one of the options as Greeners. And uh, well, I reckon that yeah, we're still here. I, I... I reckon they made a template of like four things, right, mm-hmm. already. And they couldn't think of a fourth. So we've got Ansan Wolves, we've got Ansan Smart, because <laughs> that was one of them. And Ansan United, I think, was the other one. Oh, what? Oh, let's just put Greeners. No one will vote for that. <laughs> uh, it's like the Boaty McBoatface of Kaylee. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, and also, I mean, uh, Poang did actually try something. Um, a couple of years ago, and I wasn't something I particularly agreed with, but they um, they joined with uh, the uh, Bitcoin, uh, the fan token, sorry, the Socios. Um, but I noticed as well in, in research for this part that actually they've long since, well, they're no longer included on the Socios site. So if they are still partnered with Socios, then they have, they, somebody needs to tell the marketing department that um, yeah, they're not being represented at all. But uh, that's obviously that fan token thing. It's like to vote on small things like the entrance music to come on yeah. to the pitch. And yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. It's not really my cup of tea, but um, there has been a tense. But yeah, I think fans should definitely be consulted. I know uh, that one of the Suwon groups right now, Frente Tricolor, they're not exactly right. happy with yeah. uh, Yom Ki Hun being yeah. handed the permanent reins of things uh, next season. But yeah, um, interesting thought from Charlie. I'm going to say he gets it. And uh, I think. Get the room one one lever, Paul. The room one. Well, no, we, 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 we need a, the other one for to put it in the sleigh. I don't know what what that would be, but somebody just chucking it in, like, hey, off we go. All right, we'll have a.